Hey, this is Jody with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com and Welding-TV.com. Thanks for watching another weekly video. This week we're working on about 20 little special tools. We're going to take a, this snap ring plier made by Snap-on that opens outward when you squeeze the handle. And we're going to weld a, another little piece on it to modify it to make something that reaches up inside, an inside diameter, grabs something and pulls it out. Don't know the exact application, but it seems like that has to be what it is. This little knurled piece made out of 4140 steel that will be heat treated to a certain uh, specification, a certain hardness after the fact. It's got a little gro a groove milled in it that's going to allow it to, to weld to the, to the tip of the pliers. So first thing I cleaned off uh, using the, just a sand and disc, clean that black, side, black oxide coating off the tip of the pliers in the weld area so they can get a decent clean TIG weld on it and they'll go together something just like that. Now this would be a really good application for a silver braze uh, except for the fact that they're getting induction heat treated afterwards and that would just melt the silver braze right out of there. But if you were going to take something that was hardened tool steel and not want to really affect the hardness too much or not make it brittle, you would uh, could silver braze this job with that groove in there would allow that braze material to flow in there. Except this, this again, this particular job, that's not, that's not going to be permissible. So we're going to TIG weld it. And it's a gravy job. It just uh, put puts it, it goes together just like a little puzzle. I think seem like I say that all the time with these little jobs I do for machinists. The, the, a lot of them are like that. It's just you assemble and weld, and it's uh, it's kind of fun actually. So you can see how that that was designed to just fit up in there, pretty snug. And we'll get some tack welds on this thing. Now you can see I'm using a CK flex lock TIG torch. This has kind of become my my favorite torch. It's an air-cooled model. It's a it's kind of a 17 style. That red thing on there serves as a valve if you need one. If you're using a scratch start rig you can use that for an argon valve. And you can swivel the head around any way you want and I've got the small head on it there so I can use my small hardware with my small gas lens and, and all that. So I'm using a number seven gas lens, number seven cup that is with a gas lens and a 1 16th electrode which is a 1.6 millimeter 2 percent lanthanated sharpened uh, pretty sharp like a needle so that I can get a nice crisp arc start at a low amperage because I'm I'm only using uh, typically about 50 to 60 amps here this is the buzzing you hear there I'm kind of experimenting with 100 pulses a second seeing how it keeps uh, keeps the bead where I want it and it actually did a pretty good job you can do this job pretty well without pulse of any kind. I'm just, when I have it, sometimes I play around with it just to uh, see if I can fine tune the settings. So I use the 100 pulses a second there at 33 on time, 33 background, and here I'm not using any pulse at all. And you can see the puddle is trying to kind of, you know, wander back and forth just a little bit until I get it established, but really it's doing just as well with, without pulse pretty much. In that particular shot that you just saw, I think I was using a piece of 312 rod, but for most of it I use this Inconel 82. I've had a lot of success with it on uh, tool type steels and things before, and I have a lot of it laying around, so I knew I knew that it would work just from, from prior experience on doing mold repairs on uh, tool steels and things like that. So this is another shot. Again, using about 55 amps. And the finished product will go for induction heat treating. So put a coil, a coil around that and get it up to the right hardness. And they're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I make one every week. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like what you see. Don't forget to visit welding-tv.com. That's where I have the store where you can buy TIG fingers, DVDs, t-shirts. That is how I support this project. Well, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.